Welcome to another video by My Everyday Tech. My name is John and I'm going to walk you through the LED customization of the Poker 3 RGB. First, I'm going to show you the preset LED modes that comes with the keyboard. By pressing the PN key, which is the menu key here, and 4, you get to activate the first single LED uh, kind of effect, which is the fade out for key effect. Pressing the menu, uh, the PN key again with uh, 4, it's still the same fade out effect, just that the color is rainbow random generated colors. The next effect is, I call this the, the disco effect. Imagine if you type very fast, it went on and on and on. The next one, as you have guessed, it will be the rainbow color effect. Of course, still the same will pull, but as you type on it, it's like really a disco effect on this one. And the next effect is the waveform. You can customize the color as you type, the wave goes from the loop. The next one is, of course, rainbow colored wave. Right. Then, if you press the PN4 again, you have a cycle of this array. Moving on to the, uh, the whole keyboard configuration, which is pressing the PN key and 5, you can now activate the uh, whole keyboard uh, lighting effects. The first effect is uh, always on. PN and 5, we come to the second mode, which is the breathing mode. The next one will be the vortex mode. We have all the RGB lightings uh, going round and round and round. Perfect for you to showcase your keyboard's RGB LEDs capabilities. The next one is the starlight. I'll say the star sky, something like this is a rainbowish. Uh, the colors goes on randomly on any keys, any colors. And PN five again. We have another. We have a cycle already. The next thing you can do with the LED customization is the color choice. So by pressing the PN key and escape, right now it shows you a color palette. You can simply choose what color you like and it will apply to that uh, layer. Let's say I want to use red. Right now you have fiery red always on effect. Just press the PN key and escape, you can choose palette. Just picking the color, you have different color gradients from here from the uh, the lowest brightness to the highest until the uh, to the most whitish color effect I say. And of course if you happen like you want to be creative, you can also configure the lighting with the PN key and the RGB configuration. Right now we have the green color turned on. If you press it again, you turn off the green color from here. And then if you keep on pressing the the green color brightness will slowly come comes up. And when you press the red, red mixed with green becomes yellow. So as you have guessed, RGB, if I introduce blue color into the recipe, we get the, uh, the white color from here. So you can customize as you like by using this combination. The color option, of course, you can apply it to uh, different modes, LED effects. Let's say just now, like for example, the single color. As long as you press the PN key and there's the RGB lighting lights up, it means that you can customize the color of this effect. Other than the uh, the color option, we still can adjust the brightness of this by simply using the X and V with the PN key. As you can see, when I press the X, the brightness goes down. When you press the V, the brightness goes up. If you happen to have uh, a certain effect such as the breathing effect and the vortex, you can also change the speed of the effect. Press the menu button and use these two uh, pointy kind of keys here. <laughs> I 
don't know what's the name for this, but it's a comma and uh, period. So as I type, it goes on faster with this. I'm gonna slow it down. As you can see, I have significantly slowed down the spinning effect of this thing. The Poker Tree also comes with uh, two memory slots for you to customize and save the, your custom LED modes. So the first memory is located in this key, the minus, and the second is on the, uh, the equal sign. So when I press the menu and use this, as you can see right now, there's nothing here because by default, there is nothing saved in this custom memory. If you want to save in the first slot, press menu key 9. As you can see, the menu button is right, the PNT, I said the PN and U key lights up. That means you are now ready to configure the lighting effect. Uh, I'll just use a palette to customize. Let's say I want to use a red color for my modifier keys. Just simply press on the key, select the color, press on the keys. Of, let's say I don't want to, to use the backspace, I can still press it to remove it. To save it, press the menu button and line again so the menu button goes off and you want to load your save profile you can simply press the menu the first profile immediately loads the customized LED mode you have previously saved the second memory mode however is a bit weird because if I want to save the second one I press the PN button and zero right now you, of course you can, you can customize really let's say I want to use uh, red color the second layer however is applies to uh, the whole row of this it doesn't matter how I do it just applies to the whole row it's like I want to use this two row with red and I want to use this green color for the rest of it and then I I save it menu zero right now I'm safe ready so if I want to load the first profile on the second profile, yes, there you have it. It's kind of weird that they have the first profile that is capable of supporting full customization of the keyboard, but only to have the second profile to support this kind of line-by-line -line LED customization. I hope this video gave you an idea how you can customize your Poker 3 RGB lighting effects and if you are interested on the Poker Tree's programmability and deep switch functions, we have another two videos for that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.